Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 103.6. And it says, The Lord works righteous and justice for all the oppressed. So just still trying to deal with work and everything and really needing that one today. Uh, all right, in the crochet I have absolutely nothing off the hook. I haven't crocheted in a week. Um, it just it might be hitting things. Uh, but I did get some spinning done. I have at the beginning of the year, I kind of set some goals and I'm trying to clean some stuff out and get it done. And so I have spun, I had two pounds of this that I bought two years ago when COVID and all that stuff. And I have, I had actually bought six pounds. You guys have seen me spin both the other two, two pounds of each kind. This is the last one and it's just domestic wool. And I have spun 800 yards so far of a two ply. I have this full bobbin and then I have half a bobbin on my spinning wheel still. So I am working on getting that. And I think I have two more four ounce bumps and a little bit left to do with the other bumps. So I'm down to about eight ounces of fiber left to um, spin. And then I think I'm going to dye it a peachy color. And I don't know. I'm going to make something spring. That's all I know. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. But I did meet a goal. And it's not enough to do another section of sewing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And that is all the bags, the gift bags are done. All the canvas bags. I have no more of the um, little squares that I need to upcycle. All done. Every last bit of it. So um, I have one I twist a handle on. Thought I was going to go out and fix it. And I thought, no, I'm not. I'm done. So all of those are done and actually out of the sewing room. So um, I've got, I believe, I believe I've got 20 some and designated for people for work, birthdays, blah, blah, blah. So that's done. I am looking for small gifts. I've got about 24 gifts that I make each year for work. Um, so I'm looking for small sewing projects and I'm actually going to try and use up my stash. Uh, I am getting back in that tiny house mindset and I am going to use up all the yarn that I have that I can only keep yarn and materials and fiber for projects that I'm working on. So, once I get this two pounds done, then I have a custom one that I need to do and I need to get it out of here. But here's the debate. This lady brought it to me. I used to work for her and we never decided on a price and it's wool from her sheep, her rabbits, her any fiber that she had for that year. Uh, she hasn't been very nice to me here lately. Um, just not really doing it. And so I have a whole tote of her stuff and I'm supposed to spin it into two ply and make her as big of a blanket as it'll make. My dilemma is we never decided on a cost. So do I do it? And then just present her with an invoice? Or do I talk to her first? I don't know. I'm thinking I might just do it. And then if I get anything out of her, I get it out of her. But I don't want to just get rid of the wool. Don't know. Um, so I probably will do it just because that's me. And then if I don't get paid, well, I don't know. I don't know. So there's that. Um, I also have worked on 
the shirts and stuff. I want to get those done. And uh, then the last thing that I have, <clears throat> my sinuses have been killing me all week. Uh, I went out to clean up my car. I don't know if I told you guys this, but when I wiped the outside of the windows, like I detailed out my car last weekend, when I wiped the paper towel across it, it came up green and yellow, which is pollen. In Oklahoma, normally it's brown with dust as of this stuff, but it has been brown or yellow and greens with pollen. And yeah, it's been killing me. <clears throat> and there's that much in the air too, so I'm sure I'm breathing it. I'm taking my medicine every day, but I still have drainage and stuff. So, uh, But my goal is to get things done. I got the bags done. That was one of the goals for the first of the year. The wool, I want to get it out of here. And uh, go from there. So a couple of things been happening. And this is just, you know, we sold the big trailer. We did some juggling. And now I'm actually seeing money, extra money in the bank. And I started my uh, fund. I you know I talked to you guys about this, about my bucket list, wanting to go to Alaska on a cruise. Um, that's the only thing I have on my bucket list. So, um, Yellowstone Park on the way to the cruise. And uh, so I started to see that grow and I've not missed it. So normally, you know, I'm like, mm, I'll get this all taken care of. And then I start to see it grow. I said, like, well, I better pay off this bill. I'm actually making double payments on the one bill that I need to, to get it paid off. Um, and yeah. I'm just really happy with stuff right now. I just haven't been crocheting. And you know how it goes. Once you start, the winter is heavy on the crochet. Um, but through the summer, spring, I have that problem. But I really want to get things done. So I've got uh, some things that I was working on. And I'm trying to get everything done. Once I get this spun and dyed. Then I'm going to go back to crocheting and get the projects that I have started done before I start that other one. Um, and then I don't know if I'll talk to her or not. So I don't know. <sighs> you know, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Um, Y'all give me your thoughts on it. Um, she, I worked for her. She brought me the wool, um, said, wait, I'm going to get you all this fleece. You know, I want to share. So I have two fleeces in there and then I have, um, rabbit and fibers. I, I don't know what all she had. It's all, from all of her animals at her farm. Uh, then, and it was when I worked at the vet clinic. Then when I quit for the way that they were treating me, she, unfriended me on Facebook and won't take call alike. I had to go to the other vet there at the thing because she wouldn't. Yeah. Anyway, not even being very nice, just like, yeah, whatever. So she strikes me as a kind that is your friend for convenience. Um, and it just, yeah. I don't know, but I did say I'd do it. So, a woman of my word is what it is. <laughs> anyway, um, so the last thing that I'm going to address today is, you know, um, we had the giveaway. We literally only had two people go back and re-enter for that. I had to use a random number because, you know, one, two. So, yeah, I used a random number number generator from zero to two. It picked number one. Uh, so Miss Jones, I know you're watching and you better claim your prize or I'm just done. <laughs> so anyway, yes, you know who you are and uh, you always watch and this, you will probably watch this before it even gets done. So I know that you are very faithful to us 
and you're one of probably at least a dozen that I know of that constantly watch. So I know you're watching. So give me a, shoot me an email. It's in the link down below and I will get your prize out to you. <laughs> so uh, the other thing that I did and I'm waiting for it to be approved, but I'm going to take a four day weekend for Memorial Day weekend. I haven't taken any time off. I've got a floating holiday. I've got 25 hours left from last year I didn't use. I've got 48 hours from this year I didn't use. And I haven't even gotten my vacation yet. So, yeah, it, it is what it is. But it will be fine. Um, but I'm going to take a four day weekend for Memorial Day weekend. I'm going to take the Friday before and then have Monday. And yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to take some time for me. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here because there really isn't a whole lot going on. Like I said, I'm hoping to get these things that are on the mannequin uh, off and hopefully get some of it. I'm hoping to get this all done. This is what I'm concentrating on. And then uh, I think that's all the fiber I have before that big project. So, and I'll take you guys along. I probably will do that project. You know how I am. I said I would. And no matter how bad she treats me, that I would. So, yeah. Now, the question is, is whether I'll be paid for it or not. But I will keep track of how many yards. Charge by the yard for the spinning. And then charge for the crochet. Is what it is. And I'll probably just charge an hourly thing for the crochet. But... All right, I'm off of here. You guys have an amazing week. Um, hopefully your sinuses aren't know what mine are. Uh, just quick, RJ's doing great. He's roping, placing, you know, not number one all the time, but he's enough to keep him going. So we're good. Uh, all right, I will see y'all next time, and thanks for watching. Bye.